Hey everybody, PGTF Team 1984 here again. This is my finds for January 2nd, 2012. I almost screwed up again. I stopped by a uh, Walmart today. Didn't really have anything in the main line, just a lot of old stuff or stuff I was only for, but I did have some of the new and old uh, Boulevard cars. I picked up a few that I, I kind of passed on last time. So, you know, might as well get them now while they're still available. Found from the Big Hits line, the AOK -okay Taxi. Real nice casting. I like this one. I like the they have the little fare on it, and it's 20 cents for the first uh, one quarter mile, and see, I think it says 11 cents for each additional quarter mile. Uh, you don't find that anymore on any of the today's taxi cabs. It's like about four or five bucks for the first mile found the classic Packard out of the Legends series. Real nice. I like the gold rims on this. I like it. It's nice and classy. Not overdone. And just to point out, one thing I wish Hot Wheels had done with this Packard is retool it back to its original tooling with the side windows still open. I know when they re-released this back in the early 2000s for the Redline Club, they covered it up and it's been since covered but it'd be nice to see that open window again it just breeds more light into it. it doesn't look like it's you know a hearse or anything like that even though it's the wrong hearses it'd just be nice if that car back window was open found at legends the 52 Hudson Hornets real nice car classic NASCAR racer can't wait to see what some people are going to do with this with custom wise, you know, make it look like Doc Hudson or put some other uh, tampos on it. Be nice to see what it would look like in the main line later on in its incarnation. Probably going to have a plastic base, but I like how it's got the side exhaust. Real innovative, you know, just real nice detail. And this car still holds a bunch of its old NASCAR records that today's cookie cutter cars can't even touch. And from ahead of its time is a Tucker Torpedo. Real nice. Very subtle, flattish, uh, not too bright, glossy uh, brown paint job. Or a copper red. I really can't tell. It's a brown or copper. But I like the deep, di or I like the disc wheels. be nice to see that set of wheels on the Treasure Hunt. Hudson. I mean, Tucker. I also found Wave 2's uh, Boulevard cars, which will consist of the 65 Chevy Bel Air, or Chevy Impala, 55, or 57, sorry, 57 Chevy Bel Air, 55 Linker Future Concept, 65 Ford Mustang, Dune Daddy, Golden Submarine, and Triumph TR6. The ones I picked up, you're going to like this uh, Dreadnought and Master Loafer. The 57 Chevy Bel Air, real nice, with the larger uh, rear wheels, and opening hood version. I know they keep kind of swapping back and forth with the tire selection on this car. Usually it's all same size wheels, or they'll put the largers. I like the little bit larger wheels on it, and I like it's the opening hood. Real nice car. Found the Golden Submarine from ahead of its time. All the... Bel Air is part of the big hits line. Ahead of its time is a Golden Submarine. Real nice, kind of like that SoCal uh, Salt Flats uh, cars from Bonneville from back in the era. It, real nice. I like the red uh, disc wheels. Something better than just seeing them all in the silver paint. Here's something for you, uh, Toy Pit Stop, Heathkin, and other uh, Volkswagen collectors. The Dune Daddy. Just interesting about the Dune Daddy is it's got its sand crab uh, base to it. It okay, wants to focus. Come on. This camera is so tricky. I'm sorry. Well, it says sand crab on the bottom. The way it used to come out when from the, it came out in 1970 and in the other 71, 72 when it was called Dune Daddy, they still use a sand crab base. Found out of the big hits, the 65 Ford Mustang. Real nice, that same type of copper red color. 
or a copper brown color actually like the roof stripes been nice to see the Camaro concept that had kept that striping on the roof instead of just doing the hood and the trunk lid and another thing is I wish Hot Wheels would fix this casting with the wheels the putting real riders on this thing is nice but it sticks they stick out way too far for it to look realistic on this car that little nub that separates it you know so that it's not rubber rubbing across that metal piece Let's say, you know, kind of went back and kind of shaved off a little bit or put a different type of wheel to it, like a skinnier wheel, like, uh, quickly going off a tangent, like this one. It would fit it just a little bit better. You can see it's a little bit more skinnier and it would fit the wheels just a little bit better. Okay, that is my rant for 65 Ford Mustang. And last but not least is the 55 Lincoln Futura Concept Car. And, I was long, and it's called Big Hits, but I don't know why I didn't put in the concept uh, series. I didn't realize now the card's a little bit veiny, but oh well. As a lot of you uh, Batman collectors will know, this is the card that they used for the TV series. That George Barris bought for a dollar off of Lincoln to use. Or at least designed for a buck. Can't do that today. Today's a car market. So that is the cars I picked up today. I hope you guys all had a good day. See you around. Bye bye.